Hello, today we are going to take a look at something really, really special. As you can see, we've got a beefy antenna, if you compare to the UHF stubby. And what this antenna is, this is a broadband antenna used on the military PRC 148 multiband radio. And that makes this a broadband antenna that is capable to cover from a 30 to 512 megahertz, if I recall. And this is the frequency span that this tactical radio is capable. I believe that's the same as the PRC152. And yes, this is how this antenna looks like. So this is the company, or sorry, that is the company, the tails. And here we've got a model number. This is how it looks like. We've got a TNC connector on the bottom and we can do some measurement. And this is a genuine one. I've got a Chinese copy that is sold for the replica and it was more stiff. That's how you can you can tell the difference. This one have a little bit of a rubber feel. This is not as flexible as a rubber, but something that you can definitely feel. If you feel that this is a rubber-like, flexible, then you might got the genuine one. And I'm telling that because they are, of course, copying all the labels. So this is not something that you can you can tell. Of course, they do not copy a matching circuitry. And that's the other way how you can tell if this is the fake one or a genuine one. So I rig myself a tiny adapter and we've got a TNC to, to SMA connector or a conversion. And we are going to do make a simple measurement. Sadly, this meter do not go down to 30 megahertz. Let me plot our graph. And let's, uh, let's set the start frequency to be the lowest possible. And it was 512 max. We are going to go let's go to our six hundred and as you can see everywhere we are below is SWR of two, so it's absolutely 100% safe to transmit. And I can give you a frequency sweep. Here is our marker. I can go into that point and we can start moving. So the lowest peak here we've got somewhere around 170 megahertz. 1.5 here we've got 1.3 here is a little bit higher 300 megahertz and we go down the slope 1.3 387 megahertz we go for around 440 as you can see, 100% okay.
and 500, 12, and we are below of two. So no problem in transmit. I can go outside the scope. And as you can see, there is going to be a more crazy value. So let's stick to this. And as you can see, we've got a dip around 600 megahertz. And then we go upward and around of two, we've got at almost 700 megahertz. But of course, that doesn't mean this is a perfect antenna. This doesn't mean that this is a great antenna that is tuned to all of this frequency. Here uh, is an impedance matching circuitry that is doing the magic. Mostly is done to not burn your transmitter, but how well does it perform? I'm pretty sure that this is going to be uh, this is going to be uh, a little bit worse, or maybe much worse than an antenna tuned to the specific frequency. We can also try this at a citizen band frequency, and of course, that is not something that you should. Do this is not a scientific test, but I do not have other meter that is capable of measuring below. So here I will show you the meter, and yes, this meter is not rated for the HF. But if I show you something, so I'm connected to a dummy load. And if I measure the SWR, we've got exactly SWR of one. So looks like it's measuring correctly. The power meter part do not work, but the SWR meter looks good. So I believe we can, you can, we can use that for a simple test. That looks uh, really bad, but as you can see, SWR 1.5, which is uh, absolutely perfect. And looks like it go, it go below the rated 30 megahertz. So that would be also good for a 10 meter amateur band and also a citizen band. The question is how well is does it going to be received, how much the RF energy is going to be emitted, but you can transmit there safely without any any problem. But keep in mind that this is a magic done here by the impedance match, matching transformer. So yes, it needs to do more testing but it's absolutely amazing that you can have an antenna that I can hook up to this radio and transmit on UHF. Then I can switch to HF radio or I can use on the VHF. So absolutely amazing piece of equipment, as you can see, with a little bit of magic. To be honest, if that would be uh, cheaper, I would cut it open and just would like to see how the impedance matching transformer looks like. But sorry, sorry, but I can't. So here you go. Thank you very much for watching. See you next time and bye bye.